Welcome 3D students. In this video we're going to continue working on our skull. We're going to shape the skull a little bit more and then we're going to work on the nose. So let's get started. So let's start by looking at a little reference. Uh, one of the things I notice right away is that the eye sockets are a little less round. They kind of, this corner goes down and this corner goes up. So we're going to try to make them look a little bit more like that. And I also know that notice that the top of the skull is rounder and the forehead is bigger than what we have here. So let's start working on that. Let's uh, select our object and go to the Modify tab, go back to Editable Poly, and if your uh, half of your skull disappears, click this button right here, Show End Result, and we're going to go to Vertex Mode. So let's grab these two vertices here. And go ahead and grab this back one here so we're picking up that whole corner and in the X and Z axis let's just pull that up like that a little bit and maybe I'll take that back one and pull it back down a little bit and then let's take these two and pull them down a little bit like that make that a little less round and then let's maybe take these two and pull them in a little bit and take these two and pull them down a little bit. And I think that looks a lot better. Now from the front viewport, let's grab this vertex here and make sure you draw a selection box like that because we want to get both of these. We want to make sure you get both of them. And let's pull that up and let's maybe grab all of this make sure you get the front and the back and pull that up and grab this pull that out a little bit let's take this and pull that maybe down a little bit like so and pull that down and let's pull this and let's leave that like that Let's look at it from the side, so maybe hit L. Let's take this whole side and pull it out some. Maybe take this and pull it out and take this and pull it up. Pull that one down a little bit. We want this sort of a heavy on the backside shape, kind of like that, you know. And then let's pull these down out just a little bit more, like so, like that. Switch back to perspective view, take a look. Okay, from the top, let's hit T on the keyboard and go to the top. I feel like these need to come in some, but just a little. Go back to perspective and see what that did. Okay, so let's take a look at how this thing looks when it's smooth. Uh, let's pull this one out just a little bit. So let's take a look at how this thing looks when it's smooth. Now we can smooth this mesh a number of different ways. We can, in our modeling ribbon, we can click NERMS Smoothing and that brings up uh, this little window here. We can add more smoothing to it or less. We can even model when it's smoothed. And just turn off edged faces for a minute. And turn off the cage. You can turn that off right there. Exit vertex mode. So that's what that looks like so far. I think that looks pretty good. Um, we can turn that on and off like that. We could also come here in our settings under editable poly and check this box and that kind of does the same thing. Or we can add a modifier called Turbo Smooth. T-U-R, Turbo Smooth. 
and that also smooths. All of these do kind of the same thing. They operate a little bit differently, but however you want to do it, it doesn't matter. You can turn Turbo Smooth on and off, just like this. Or, again, you can just use this check here, or you can use this here. However you do it, doesn't matter. So uh, let's turn smoothing off, and let's turn edge faces back on, and turn on show end result again. So what we're going to do next is extrude the, the jaw, or the front of the jaw. So let's grab these two polygons right here, and actually I think I'm going to move this over a little bit here, maybe right there like that. Take this and move that like that. Okay, so let's take these polygons right here and extrude them down. And we can just hold down shift and move in the Z axis and that extrudes that down. And then let's hold down shift and move it one more time so we get two, two extrusions there. And then let's turn on Nerve Smoothing and see what that looks like. Now you can clearly see what happened here. It just looks like he's got a couple of buck teeth, but that's not what we want. We turn off Nerm Smoothing for a second and turn off Symmetry by clicking on the eyeball. You can see why that happened. It's because of these polygons here. So select these two and delete them. And then turn Symmetry back on and turn on Nerms. Oops. And you can see that that fixed it. Now when we come back in the next video, we will continue to work on this area and the nose. And uh, the final thing we're going to do is work on this, um, this uh, orbital thing next to the eye here, which is going to be a bit, a bit difficult. We're going to have to do something to the side of the skull here and then, and then kind of fix it. But it's not that hard. I'm sure we can handle it. And I'll see you in the next one.